I'm going to show you uh, real quickly how to gather the information necessary to do the EC motor and fan control audit. And obviously the first thing that we need to do is identify that this is considered one coil. So this one coil you can see has three motors on and that's imperative to know that that information goes accurately into the IYS audit software. The second thing that we need to know is what's the rotation of the fans and in this particular application we've got a service disconnect switch so I've shut the motors off and I'm just briefly going to turn the power on so that we can see which way the fan blades roll and we can see after just a second or two we can tell that the fan blades are spinning this way which is clockwise and in all of our audits we want to know which way the fan blade is spinning as you look at the fan blade so in this particular application, as viewed, that fan blade is spinning clockwise. If it's going the other way, obviously that's going to be counterclockwise. Once we've identified which way the fan blades are spinning, then what we can do is come to the back of the coil and actually see the manufacturer's tag that's going to have all the rest of the pertinent information. So in this particular application, we know it's 115 volts, we know there's three motors, we know they're 1 15th horsepower, and we can write down the model number should there be any cross-referencing necessary. With that being said, there's a couple other key items that we need to do, and that is identify, is this coil on a separate thermostat, is it tied in with an additional thermostat, because each fan control needs to be on the coils that are being controlled by that particular thermostat or control. You cannot control additional coils if it's not being controlled on the same thermostat or the same refrigeration control. In this particular location, we've got two three fan coils that are on the same thermostat. We actually have an additional two coils with three fans that are on a different thermostat. So in this box we have a total of 12 motors. We're using two fan controls, six motors each that's consisted of two coils. One other tip that I want to tell you, you're always not going to have an easily accessible service disconnect. So I walk around with the nylon zip tie and I gently put the zip tie into the fan guard so that I can determine what the rotation is. It's a very simple and easy method to determine rotation should there not be a service disconnect.